Neben mir jetzt, und das freut uns sehr, Depeche Mode. Welcome in the show. Thank you very much for um, being here. First of all, you're going to perform Pressures tonight on Wetten Das. Would you tell us something about your new single, please? Well, it's uh, a really old single. <laughs> <laughs> We, we've actually had like one out since then, but, um, you know, Pressures came out, I don't know, when was it? Like September or something? Yeah, October. Yeah, something like that. That's October. So... And you go for performing it on Wetten Das. So I heard you saw, uh, wrote a song for your kids, that's true? Yes. Um, you know, I went through a, uh, a divorce that lasted like a year and a half and you know, I'm sure it still affects the children. So it was a song about that. It's on your new album, Playing the Angel, and um, you're touring um, at the moment with this album and it's a huge success, completely sold out. How does it feel for you guys? It's, it's all the people going crazy and they're searching for tickets for the Pesh Mode. How does it feel? Well, yeah, the shows have been great and uh, we're really enjoying it, performing together and um, um, it really doesn't get better than what we're doing now, really on the road. So, yeah, we're very, very lucky. and. And we're planning to come back again now. We've announced some more shows in the summer, so. Okay, I'm sure the fans will be happy about that. Um, your album from uh, 1987, Music for the Masses, it still seems to be up to date. Um, is it still an important um, um, thing if you're writing new songs, Music for the Masses? Um, yeah, I think Music for the Masses was, a, was a, a big album for us. I think Black Celebration before that was a, was a really big turning point. You know, and I think I like pretty much everything that we've released since then. Yeah, we, 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 we released a few dodgy tracks yeah, pre-Black uh, Celebration, but... Now this one is your 11th album. I heard you always have to go to do the best record ever. Did you succeed your goal this time? I think so, yeah. We did, you know, we, we were lucky to work with some people that were really enthusiastic. Ben Hillier uh, produced the album and... Um, We just had a lot of fun making it. Um, you know, we made the album in uh, some of it in Santa Barbara, some in New York, some in London, um, and um, London. Yeah, London. <laughs> uh, and uh, Santa Barbara, <laughs> some in New York. <laughs> um, and, All over the world. Yeah, and, uh, and it was uh, we did it about half past three. <laughs> um, it, it was it was a lot of fun. You know, we kind of, I think when we began, we kind of, you know, we didn't know how we were going to be together and what it was going to be like. But once we, the first sort of few weeks, we, you know, we, we really got into it and it was good. The album sounds a little bit faster than the former two albums. Um, any special reason for that? Were you influenced by more dance music or? Uh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been listening to a lot of disco. <laughs> disco music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's a mix with some Barry White and stuff like that so it's got a soulful dance feel about it <laughs> um, I saw on your CD there's a DVD making uh, um, playing um, the angel and you said okay you're always a little bit scared before writing new songs why after all these years 25 years of special mode why are you still scared about that is it because you have a, a legacy and you know you like we were saying we want to make the best album and You know, you sit down with a, a piece of paper that's blank, you don't know what you're going to write. And, um, you know, it's really nice when you get a few songs under your belt and you start getting a direction. I heard you were writing uh, three songs for the album as well. It's um, for the first time, so how was it for you? You've got a different view now on this album because you were working as a songwriter as well? Yeah, um, you know, I wrote the songs with Christian, who plays drums with us as well, and Andrew Philpop, who's not around with us right now. but. Um, um, yeah, I think it just sort of um, seemed like a very natural thing and I think that was one of the things in the studio that we weren't going to know how it was going to be until we actually got in and started working together. Um, and once we get in the studio it all becomes like a Depeche Mode thing and um, like I said, when I go back to Ben Hillier and Rick Morris and Dave McCracken who worked on the album, they, they kind of brought uh, an energy to, to the music that I think you know, was important. What's really impressive for me is the way you are working on a new album. Um, you are in the business since so long, but you are still warming up your voice, right? With a song, Mary had a little lamp. I saw on the DVD. How do you, uh, um, um, which exercises you prefer? I actually was doing it earlier. We're not doing a gig tonight, but I kind of like just, it's just part of like what I, what I do. I enjoy doing it. It, it, it makes me... It's one of his favorite songs. Well. It's like... Mary had a little lamp, one of his favorite songs. It still is. <laughs> French as well. In French as well. And how does it sound in French? I don't know. The, the lyric is 
Mary a une little... Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> Mary had a little lamb. That's the French version of Mary had a little lamb. Okay. Um, so it's a pretty long time. We were waiting for a long time for a new record now. In 2001 uh, came up the last one. In the meantime, you all did uh, several solo projects and now happy to be back again. But I can imagine... You all live in different parts of the earth, New York, London, uh, California. How was it the first days to be uh, back very close together again? Was it strange or difficult at the moment? I mean, we, we spent most of the last 25 years together, so <laughs> it's not that strange. Okay. <laughs> so it worked really well and now you're on... It's a marriage. It's oh, a marriage. A marriage. Nice. Das kleine, die, die kleine Ehe, ähm, Depeche Mode, ähm, you know what, 25 years of Depeche Mode, you saw over than 50 million albums. Some uh, slightly more now. Yeah, slightly more, also about um, 100 million albums, something like that, so every second, yeah. Um, so sometimes if you're looking back, can you believe all that? I mean, if I hear 50 million records or 100 million, I don't know, so it's, it, it's, it's a huge... Well, it's, yeah, it's great, and you know, it's, it's something that has happened over... 25 years and I think we're just fortunate that we we still feel that what we do is relevant and obviously to our fans it is and we seem to be winning over new fans all the time and you know as long as we're enjoying making the music together you know yeah I think when we recorded Dreaming of Me <laughs> you know, I don't think we expected no. to be around 25 uh, years later and not. selling like you know so many records we didn't <laughs> give up our day jobs well I didn't have a job but Fletcher and Mark had jobs, and I don't think they gave up their jobs for the first couple of years. So we're, s we're still just as pessimistic, you know. We keep going because we don't want to go back. To yeah, we days. haven't got another job. <laughs> fact, so we're useless at everything else. So this is all we can do. <laughs> if there is no other job, that's a good solution for the moment, I would say. And um, thank you very much. It was a huge honor having you here, and hope to see you soon. And hope to get a ticket for the album, uh, for the tour. Then, so it's not that easy. Ja? Ah, die Frau hat Tickets für mich. Jawohl, man muss einfach nur fragen. Tickets for everybody und drinks. Und uh, um, I have to leave you now because um, he has to warm up his voice with Mary is a little limp. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Danke.